We'll see Infestor play very shortly. That will shut down the Void Ray and Phoenix very, very well. But he is moving away from it. He is now punching out an Immortal along with the Robotics Bay, which means they shift into Colossus. With Zerg melee attacks level 2 going up, no armor still upgraded for them. Demaga choosing to go the fully offensive route is expanding yet again. I do like this. He is expanding as soon as the creep reaches that base. And there is just too much here. He's got to be careful. The Void Ray will take down a Queen, but will not take down three at all. So this expansion is perfectly safe. Dropping creep tumors as he goes. I am struggling this game. Unfortunately for me, the sun has decided to position itself so that there is glare completely over my minimap and I cannot see a thing on it. But I could delay this, but obviously I would not do that to you, gentle viewer, as you are as excited as I am to find out who's going to win. And Demarga is expanding again! I am loving this. Finally, ground armor level 1 is being upgraded for mana, but it is going to come as late as melee attacks level 2 finishes, which is not a good timing on that at all. Zerg will have the clear advantage. Now the extended Thermal Lance is going down, which means he is going to be going into Colossi as soon as he can afford them. But with three Infestors coming out now to shut down the ground army and stop it retreating, I'm not sure Colossus is going to do that well. The question will be, what is the Spire timing? For Demarga. He needs to get that Spire out, which of course will soon become the greater Spire for the Broodlord Infestor combo that we know he favours. But when that Spire comes out, that Spire means Corruptors, and Corruptors mean absolutely worthless Colossi. And in fact, as we see, there is a Twilight Cancel going down now in the base of mana, which I like. That is a good timing for that, of course. It does allow for the upgrades to Zealots and Stalkers, it allows Blink and Charge. But of course it allows you to switch into Templar play should the Colossi fail. Now we do finally have a Spire going down somewhere for Demaga. If I could, oh no, that's an Evo Chamber. Trust me, there is a Spire somewhere on the map. A Spire I cannot find because I am blind. But a Spire and the Hive going down. Templar Archives now going down for mana as well. Which is going to mean High Templar and Archons. That's really bugging me that I can't find that Spire. There it is. There's the Spire. That is of course very, very shortly going to become a greater Spire. And that is really good timing. Taking out the pile on there. That is a really good timing on that Spire. That is going to mean he can get out anti uh, the anti colossi just as really only the second colossi will be finishing that is a very good timing by demago that's very good game sense he hasn't seen any extra phoenixes he hasn't seen any extra void rays so he knows that a tech switch is occurring now ground weapons level 2 is being upgraded which of course will help the colossi kill things much much quicker and now dumping an absolute million Infested Terratown, but really good force fields there by mana that is going to allow the Colossi there to do an awful lot of damage. But these Zerglings are getting in, they are killing stuff. But there are not enough roaches to tank the damage, and if he's not careful, he's going to lose all these Infestors as well. But finally, everything is going down for mana. All those Stalkers die, the Infestors retreat slightly, and these roaches are still here doing damage. This is a very good engagement for Demarga with the much greater economy. He can afford to lose units like that in order to do damage to Mana's forces. But he does need to be careful not to lose these Infestors as that will be bad for him. But he is on five bases. We see Blink is upgrading which is going to make the Stalkers slightly more microable. But we have three Corruptors coming out now and the Greater Spire is nearly finished. Which means Broodlord Infestor play yet again. I absolutely love it. I cannot get enough right now of the Broodlord Infestor combo. With the Broodlord so effective against the ground units and the Fungal making sure they can't run away from the slow moving Broodlords. And also to deal with any air. I do like this as well. I do like that he brings a Queen with the army. They are not the fastest moving things off creep but they are effective at dealing with any kind of the, the little uh, phoenix harassment that can go on. And of course they have transfuse which means they can keep uh, critical units alive. Notably not many roaches now with this army. This 200 food army. 
He is dropping some more infested terrors now, and it looks like he's going to push now that he's at 200 food. Lots of units dying everywhere, but so many infested terrors being spawned. This is a brilliant move by Demaga. He's choosing to just attack with the Corruptors, and he's going to take down that Colossus again. All the Colossus now go down. But there are Archons in there, and Archons are very, very good, but they do get killed. The infested Terrans making short work of everything here. And now there are just a few Zealots left. This is a brilliant move by Demaga. That was a great push. I imagine very, very shortly he'll be morphing those Corruptors into Broodlords. That's why he's pulled them back. Also keeping them safe from any kind of attack. Yes, as we see, seven Broodlords morphing now. Brilliant, brilliant. And look at this force of speedlings to complement all these speedlings. If we go to the units tab, we see there is one Void Ray out, one Archon, two High Templar, and a Zealot. Compared to seven Broodlords morphing, 90 Zerglings, four Corruptors, 12 Infestors, and six Queens. This is going to be an unstoppable force right now from Demaga. He has nearly double the food count of mana. Look at this army. Oh my word. I do not believe this expansion is dead. In fact, no. Scratch that. Mana is dead. Mana is gone. Mana has GG'd, in fact. MTW Demaga comes from a two game deficit to take the best of five series. Five games to four. Uh, five games to four, even three games to two. I'm just too excited, I can't even count game numbers. That is absolutely fantastic. I am excited. One of my favourite, favourite Zergs takes the Assembly Cup best of five series. Oh, fantastic play here. Mana has GG'd, but the game is not over. As these broodlings and speedlings are destroying absolutely everything in this base. But this game is over now. Demaga has taken the series. What a week it's been here on Vokta Gaming. Oh, don't forget, of course, you can join us in the chat at irc.funatic.net hash gaming. And you can send me your cool StarCraft 2 replays to voctagaming at gmail.com alongside that you can search for Vokta Gaming on Facebook and join our Facebook fan page so now uh, thanks very much for watching especially on a Saturday where we don't normally have a game I will be back next Tuesday hopefully, hopefully with some more games as exciting as this thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next week